Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Dive brakes, and then you've got a flap underneath. Oh, the flap! That's so cool. I've got that. On, I've got that slowed. <laughs> it's like right. These, these are on a variable. Um, so what? Yeah, what I'm probably going to need is when I'm actually do bomb drops. Is I'll probably need a bombardier to operate the dive flaps. Oh yeah. The bomb drop because they're they're actually on the same side of my radio as the uh, controls. So the flight control. Yeah. yeah. Let's get a shot of the Okay. Move over to the side a little bit. You're in shadow there. There you go. Now let's do it. That's nice. Oh, that's so cool. What's up, Jim? Way awesome. And you can see my bomb section here. There's a bomb that goes there. Yeah, yeah. A little bomb drop mechanism that goes up through the plane. I haven't put that in yet. but That'll be nice. But it'll be cool. And then... <laughs> This, all the linkages are internal inside the back of the plane, so the, um, the uh, tail wheel is actually on a, is actually geared down, it actually runs off of an in, inside um, connection on the rudder, so it doesn't steer, so you get a lot of rudder throw, and not near as much um, That's nice. tail wheel, tail wheel throw. I like it, because it gives you a lot of good low speed stability on the ground, so you're not you're not yanking it all over the gotcha. place. Gotcha. It seemed to track really nice and straight. Cool. So, aileron, aileron forward, elevator. This was the biggest problem, was this thing, but it's nice and sturdy now. You can 